Like this and like that and like this and I'm like this So if you've used any kind of night crew lights in the past or if you watched any of my recent reviews on the other night crew lights, this one really isn't much different than them. This is going to give you a good look of the light as you can see here on the aquarium. And you're going to see what it looks like. But looking at the controller here, it's much like the other ones. You want to set it to factory default settings by simply holding power and the settings button for three seconds and they recommend doing that one the first time you set it up. When you do this, it defaults to the pre-installed setting, which has ramp times for the sunset and sunrise on it already. I don't know why the camera shows the display doing that. It's not doing that in real time. The control is built pretty nice, just like the other ones. And as you can see here, it has a, makes the aquarium look pretty nice. And here's a good look at the moonlights on the aquarium. You can run this thing by hand. You can use the pre-installed sunrise sunset 24-7 mode or you can customize your own by following the instruction manual which is pretty easy. I do like this light is one of my favorite out of the four that they sent me. Its ease of use is nice. Obviously this is the 36 version and I have it on my 29 gallon tank as you can see here. It's sturdy. The docking legs are strong. The control the inline controller doesn't creak and crack when you press the buttons. It doesn't appear to be made of cheap plastic. And the cannon plug that connects together has a pretty good seal to it. I've had some lights in the past like Phoenix, where that connection was subpar. And I had issues with it getting corrosion on it and causing connectivity issues. I don't see that happening with this Nikru light or any of the other ones that I've reviewed in the last month. But yeah, so far I'm pretty impressed with it. And with any review, you need an ample amount of time to really give a good review on any product. So I will be doing follow-up videos on all these Nikru lights that they have sent me to ch test the longevity of them. So keep that in mind. This is just an out-of-the-box look at this light. And uh, like I said, so far I am impressed with it. Here I'm going to give you a look at what the lights look like when they're on. I don't know what it is about that, but it's really pretty. I like the colors of the lights here. The LEDs lit up. But this also gave you a nice view of what the tank looked like when I lift the light up and put it back on, how it illuminates the aquarium pretty nice. I have seen a difference in my plants with this light, particularly on the java fern you can see there on the left-hand side, just left of the bubbles going. It's ballooned up pretty nice. And here's a look at the light at a different angle on the aquarium. It's a pretty nice light, and of course, in my opinion, the best selling features of this light and the others I reviewed from Nycru is the fact that you get a fully programmable light that's going to work for you. It's going to get you there, but it doesn't break the bank. And like I did with my other reviews, I will put the Amazon link to this light in the description if you want to purchase it after watching this video for yourself and try it out. And just to give you another look of the light on the aquarium, what it looks like, I backed up a little bit so you could see it. I think it illuminates it really nice, and it's not overbearing. But again, you can adjust this down. I did have to adjust this light down a little bit as far as how bright the white LEDs were, because I think it would have been too much for this tank, and I would have been having some algae issues. Um, if this light ever does lose power, it will keep the memory of your settings, but it will not keep the clock setting. You will have to reset the clock. And here's a nice up-close look at the light on the aquarium. It's sleek, it's smooth, I like it a lot. It doesn't sag, it's built well. My conclusion on this light is the same as it is with all of the other ones. This is one of the lights out of the four they sent me that I have reviewed. Another one of my personal favorites because of the ease of use of it. 
you have the one inline controller to adjust all your settings. It is a simpler setup. Where some of the other ones that I reviewed, and you can check that out on my channel, they're all right in a row. I have all these videos coming out every Saturday. But it's built well. The connections are tight. It's pretty straightforward to figure out the programming. They give you a nice, easy to understand instruction booklet. And as you can see here, I don't know what you guys think, but I think it lights the aquarium up really nice. But as for long term, I can't really talk about its dependability in these videos because I need to have it for years to see, months or years to see how well it does, how long it lasts will drivers start going out and lights flickering and things like that. So, but as I said in my other review videos, these, light, these lights are gonna be on these aquariums, so just give me a little bit of time, however long it takes, and I will do a follow-up on these review videos and give you my 100% set in stone opinion on them. But as for my opinion right now, I think with what you get and how much they cost, which is very minimal, for a fully programmable light, you can't beat it. And it works, it's going to get you there. So, I'm pretty impressed with Night Cruise products. For sure, I, I do like them. In all these review videos, if you check your dis the description in the video, you will see the Amazon link for each of these lights if you want to get one after watching this video and you feel it might be a good fit for you. You can get all these lights in different sizes. So, that's it, that's my review on the Night Crew Classic. LED 36 inch plus aquarium light. Let me know your thoughts, leave your comments below. I certainly appreciate your time and I hope this video helped you. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. I always get back to all my comments. So thanks again. Till next video guys, and we'll see you. We'll see you on the next one.